Renogy. Is that how you pronounce it? It's Renogy? I'm not entirely sure. Anyways, Phoenix 300. So, I picked it up at Best Buy for like $305 with tax. I like it because it's super simple. It has two AC plugs, a couple USB ports, and you know, obviously your standard 12 volt, all that stuff. Anyways, if you want specs, there's plenty of YouTube people that do that. I just wanted to show you an actual practical application of what my personal usage is. I picked it up because for me, I want something that I can take camping, super simple. It's rated at like 337 watt hours, something like that. Um, the one little thing that I don't like, which could be just kind of a weird thing, is you'll see right there, the plugs don't go all the way in. I don't like that. I was trying to get the plugs to go all the way in and they stick out. So that's actually one thing I don't like. It's on both of them actually, the AC plugs. The other, op the other real good option, outside of an emergency, what I wanted to do with this was primarily be able to take it with me on uh, filming reasons. I could plug in a couple of cameras, plug in a light, power up a drone battery, all that stuff that we want to see for practical application. Presently, I have these two cameras and this light plugged in, and I've had it plugged in, what do we got here? Well, I've had it plugged in for about 10 minutes now, and it's at a still 100, so we're doing all right. So, these two cameras, which are the GX7s, I've got these GX7s presently. So these little GX7s, I have them plugged in to these little batteries. Oh, you hear it. The fan just kicked on. So that's been 10 minutes and the fan just kicked on. So, either way. Um, I have these plugged into just a little DC coupler that's right here, which makes them really nice and easy. It goes in right there. This is a Draycast. It's a Draycast 60 watts, 1000 watt panel. So I've got that plugged in. And yeah, I can really smell that right now. You see that? Yeah. Either way, so it's working. There's a bunch of information out there about these. If you want to go look it up, that's not my what I'm doing this for. I just wanted to do an actual real practical application and see uh, how much time I get out of this. If I can actually plug in a couple of cameras plus this 1000 watt LED panel and see where it goes. So the fan is really working right now. That is actually a little loud. If I was to take this and use it for filming, sound wouldn't be good. So there's something I figured out already. But anyways, I'm gonna leave this on. It has now been an exact hour that this thing has been on and I am super happy uh, in regards to its performance so far. I mean, the light's been plugged in, zero flicker for this entire time. Both cameras are still plugged in. I don't like that 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 wobble because it just doesn't sit all the way. That's the unfortunate thing. Either way, I'm still at 100%. That's amazing. Um, I want to test out this, actually. What if I press the light? Perfect, light works. I'm still at 100%. An hour of this is great. Oh, there we go. I don't know, I'm stoked. It makes me happy. I can imagine that if we are on location and I need to plug in the camera, say the batteries go down and I gotta plug it in with this, I should work out just fine. We should be able to power drones just fine. Again, we have the, uh, the Draycast 1000 watt panel. Um, mind you, it was at 60 watts. I am running two of these GX7 Lumex cameras. Um, by the way, I absolutely love them. They're powered on with like a, you know, a DC coupler, like I said before. And yeah, these things, you know, running this little thing right here, this is absolutely fantastic. So I don't know, might be work for you. I think it's going to work out great for everything I need.